case you missed it, catch up on last week's episode when we sailed from the Netherlands to France. We explored Dunkirk and shared some of its history before we continued our journey along the French coast to reach Le Havre. In this episode, we made the short sail from Le Havre in Normandy on the north coast of France to a stunning little town called Enfleur that was only a stone's throw away. When we arrived in Le Havre, we'd ended up first opposite a couple of other British boats. After Scrappy went to introduce himself, we got chatting to them. An enjoyable evening aboard their boat, Thule, led to us being invited to go and explore on Fleur with them the following day. After a lazy morning to clear our heads, all three boats set off just after lunch so we'd have the tide with us during our sail. It was only a 14 nautical mile hop so it didn't take long. To get to the town you have to go through a lock as there's an eight and a half metre tidal range and the boats inside it need it so they can stay afloat at low tide. I'm glad we got the practice in, in the Netherlands at using these kind of locks as there was a big crowd watching from above. Luckily I managed to get us hooked on with my first attempt. Score! In our lock with our new friends, it's Thule with Trish and Keaton. We sailed here from the harbour and we're waiting to go through the lock. Smile! Hello! <laughs> we are in Le France. <laughs> Note to self don't trust Dave around the camera equipment. Once we were through the lock, we were met by the harbour master, who gave us the option of where to berth. Beyond the lifting bridge in the inner basin, rafted up alongside all the other boats, or outside the town centre on the visitors' pontoons. We opted to stay in the outer section and managed to squeeze in on our second attempt. So we've arrived in Enfleur uh, after a three, three and a half hour sail, went through a lock. Wow, it's beautiful here. So apparently this town wasn't touched by the war at all. So it's all original buildings and architecture. There's the marina. We're staying on a little pontoon just behind. Yeah. Let's wait for the child catcher to appear. <laughs> Spuddles! Cherry drops! Scrappy? Scrappy! Hello! Are you a good boy? Honfleur is a very picturesque little town on the southern side of the River Seine's estuary. It was essentially built for commerce due to its location. The Vieux Bassin is the heart of the port. It used to attract commercial ships and fishing boats, but now it attracts yachts, and if you're lucky enough to get a spot in here, be prepared to be rafted up against them. We saw them four apiece, but six or seven boats against each other is not unheard of. 
The town centre is made up of a jumble of narrow cobbled streets that are lined with half-timbered buildings. Arts and craft studios are nestled next to cafes, boutiques, souvenir shops and galleries. The beauty of the town has attracted countless artists over the years and it has inspired numerous pieces of art. St Catherine's Church is the largest church made out of wood in France and it's dedicated to St Catherine of Alexandria. It was built using naval construction techniques which gives the impression of an upside down ship's hull once you're inside. St Leonard's is another church in Honfleur. It has a flamboyant gothic style facade complete with some scary looking gargoyles on the front. Once you're inside though, it's incredibly peaceful and it makes a refreshing change to the hustle and bustle of the town centre. Hmm? During our exploration, we discovered this incredible little chocolate shop. It smelt amazing inside, and the chocolates were pretty damn good too. So this lighthouse used to be right on the sea, seafront but all the ground to the right of us has been reclaimed turned into parks and stuff very pretty there's some beautiful buildings around you something then <laughs> Scrappy's just had a bath and he's now drying off in the sun barking at everyone that goes past, including the boat. I'm hanging out the hatch, Dave's on deck. <laughs> he hates bath time, but he rolled in poo again before, so we needed a bath. Here's our little boat, and we've been rafted up to for the first time. So we've got three boats worth of people climbing over our boat. And it was still happening at midnight last night and we got woken up at half six this morning. So I'm not that keen on it yet. I know it's part of boat life, but... After a lovely meal out with our new friends who we'd sailed over with, that included a few drinks, we were heading back to our boats for the night when the town's carousel caught our eyes, and we just couldn't resist.
<laughs> Dave refused to go on with the rest of us, but we persuaded him to go on anyway after Argo had finished. And the result of Dave plus a beer plus a carousel is this. Dave's on roundabout. <laughs> the challenge is, Dave, you must change obstacle, you must change each... How do you say it? The challenge is, you must be on a different, um, different thing every time it comes round. <laughs> Got your ticket, Dave. After an incredible couple of days exploring the town and soaking up its history, we were ready to continue onwards on our journey. We slipped our lines at 4am, fueled up and headed back out towards the lock. It's a good thing there wasn't anybody around this time, because I well and truly messed up trying to attach us to the side. We barely managed to attach ourselves before the water started to flood out. It was a long way down, but we made it through the lock safely. And so, we headed out into the inky blackness of the night, en route to Barfleur. Did you have a go at the challenge we set for you in the last video? We spelled out two words using the international maritime signal flags. Each letter of the alphabet is represented by a flag, and here's the answer. Here's your challenge for this episode. It's another code to break, but we're using a different code this time called the Pigpen Cipher. It was created by the Freemasons so they could keep documents safe, and it was also used by the Confederate soldiers during the Civil War. Can you break the code? Use the key I've written at the top and leave your answer in the comments below the video. Good luck! Have you checked out our Facebook page yet? Search Facebook for Sailing Mutiny or use the link in the description below. We're a long way behind with making these videos, but our Facebook page is kept up to date so you can see what we're up to right now. Don't forget to click the like button so you can get notifications from us. Join us again next time for a quick stop at Barfleur before a bumpy sail to Cherbourg. We spent the following two weeks exploring Cherbourg and the surrounding area, making new friends, finding out about the history of Cherbourg during the war. We both celebrated our birthdays and enjoyed a street festival and my mum came out for a visit. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Don't forget to have a go at this week's challenge. Leave your answer in the comments below. See you next time.